to my channel. I have Gwen Stefanified myself. Does that make any sense? No. Uh, just to follow up with my introduction video of this palette, I wanted to do a look. I got my ass on Google and I Googled Gwen Stefani and this was my favorite look and pretty much the only hairstyle that I could actually um, somewhat recreate myself. So this is what we went with. I'm not a hairstylist, like this, this shit, this took a lot of time right here. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Now using Urban Decay's Brow Beater in Neutral Brown, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows like Gwen Stefani's. Using the brow brush on the end of the brow beater color that I'm gonna be using, I'm going to brush out my seven eyebrow hairs. Gwen's eyebrows are a little bit darker, well, a lot darker than her hair, so we're gonna go for darker brows today. Gwen's brows are pretty squared off at the front, so. Once you've got most of the product where you'd like it, take that little spoolie and lightly brush it through to make sure you don't have any chunks of product in any awkward places. Now going in with a concealer brush and a concealer that is much lighter than your foundation color, you're gonna clean up underneath your brows. First going in with blonde, we're gonna highlight the brow bone with this color. Gwen always has some fierce ass brow highlight going on, so you just can't put too much of this on there. I'm going to put Stark in the crease. And I'm not bringing this very high up because I'm not gonna mess with Gwen's brow highlight, ever. But if you do F it up, you can just go in and put the white back over your brow bone and everything is gonna be just fine. For my eyelid, I'm gonna go in with bath water right here. It's got the perfect amount of shimmer. Ooh. I'm gonna place this with my finger because I want it to be packed on there a little more. To give this a little extra pop of shimmer, I'm gonna go in with pop. See what I did there? See what I did there? That's such a bad joke. Going back in with Stark and our blender brush, I'm going to wipe this through here again because um, uh, pop is very shimmery and I just wanna make sure this is all matte up in here. I'm gonna go in with more Stark and add this to my lower lash line just to define these a little bit. Now it's time for winged liner, a staple for Gwen. I'm gonna use ColourPop Swerve for the black gel liner. For Gwen's liner, it is thinner up here, but thick, a thick band, so it doesn't quite kind of tapers off as the point goes out this way. And instead of pulling this all the way in like I usually would, I'm just going to Create a triangle down this way. I'm using NYX's waterline pencil in rail. This is kind of like a dark brown. And this is the slightest detail that I noticed. A little bit of Gwen's tear duct here is kind of outlined just to about there. So I'm going to take my liner brush and just get some of this on there because this is way too thick. And just go in and lightly outline this. Now I'm going to apply mascara to my upper and lower lash line. And on the lower lash line, I'm gonna hardly add any. This is a way easier angle for me, guys. <laughs> now I'm using Urban Decay's Lashes in Trap. And I'm gonna pop this on, I'll be right back. So moving on to blush, uh, if I can get it open. We're gonna go in with Fetish by Urban Decay and I'm not gonna do any contouring today because in this photo, eh, she might have a little bit of contour. We're gonna do a little bit of contouring. I changed my mind. I'm going to add the slightest bit of contour and this is a shade from the Anastasia uh, Contour Kit. It's this taupey one. She also has a very awesomely sharp draw, so I'm going to sharpen my nub a tiny bit. Now back to fetish, let's go ahead and apply some of this. She doesn't have a whole lot of blush on, but enough to see it. And it looks like there's a lot of it concentrated towards the apples of her cheeks. It is time for the most important part of this look, besides the hair, of course. So in this photo, Gwen has on a very orangey, let me take a closer look. Tilt is a little, just a touch too orange, and Bad Blood is a touch too, too much of a 
of a blue red. So I'm gonna actually mix them together and makes the magic happen. Here's my finished Gwen Stefani look. What do you guys think? I actually really love how this turned out. I wasn't sure how I was going to like the mixture of lipsticks that I did, but I love it. I wish I wasn't stuck in the basement filming videos all day. I hope you guys enjoy this and I would love to see some Gwen Stefani looks that you guys come up with. So go ahead and tweet those at me and maybe I'll pick another one to do with this palette because these are kind of like her, you know, her signature colors that she's always wearing. So let's let's create some more, some more fun with the palette. Don't forget to mark your calendar so you can grab this palette if it's of interest to you when it comes out. That will be November 22nd. And thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.